Hey guys, one up in here coming with a pretty sweet tool for Game Maker Studio, which is the GML GUI library. And what is this? Well, what you're seeing in front of you, if you ever wanted to do your own, I don't know, menus, pop ups, or even inventory system, if you're quite nifty by the way, then you can actually recreate this. So basically, you got a nice hover over, and then later on, I will show you how you can customize it because, because that thing is very, very um, well instantly usable and then you can customize everything from the ground up which is pretty sweet so for example you got your regular buttons with even pop-ups so everything is working pretty easy to to implement to instantly use or i don't know um, draggable so you can even drag and drop those things this is pretty sweet or you can cycle through different things or toggles link toggle i never checked this out doesn't really matter so or for example here even animated buttons so everything is pretty uh, basically uh, instantly usable for you guys or you got some drop downs drop downs always good or for example here uh, a list so there are tons of things of course here you got your um, what is that so what you're seeing just in front of you I'm just playing around with that so you can actually see and then uh, with those sliders you can actually do a lot of things and there's even a little debug mode in there and then here this is just a demonstration so you can check it out and then once for example you buy it because this is a commercial license once again but a pretty powerful one so don't think that this is just a little bit of work uh, if you go for GUI elements menus and all that stuff that is quite a lot as you can see it's just showing tons of things how you could uh, do these things and as you can see the animations the tweening in between those kind of states of hover over or clicked or whatever very nicely done and of course you can change that later on if you like oh, for example you can grab this is the one of things which is uh, kind of interesting oh for example you got a file system with a pop-up draggable you can get rid of it if you like what is that just change the background okay why not or for example what you can actually do is something with a right mouse button that you can drag that thing so pretty sweet so if you like just to check it out what it is there is a free demo of course to check it out and then by the way pretty sweet how he actually does that background effect i love how he did that he's actually even created his own text box system so this is kind of interesting also so basically this is a package for menus for text box for pop-ups or even for an inventory system so once again pretty cool stuff let's go next and then for example this is how your menu could look like and boom you just drag and drop a few things and boom and just you just go in there like hey i just want to change my sound from i don't know zero to something or whatever and boom you are done so where can you find this links of course in the description below you can find it on itch.io by set 30 by the way he is in my patreon not ah, he is in my <laughs> not patreon in my discord what am i talking um he's in my discord and you can actually check out him or ask him any questions or whatever if you're curious about that stuff because uh, this isn't as trivial so there's quite a lot of work in creating such a huge project so once again commercial product of course i get it for free because i am reviewing it and he actually has a documentation so once again here um, you can check out how to use it quick uh, setup and blah 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 and basically this setup is ultra easy so basically what you do uh, once you acquired it you just go local import package and boom you will get a folder which is here and then tons of things are in there and most of that stuff you can customize to your liking so for example if you say like mm, i don't like how the sprites are looking so basically you can just um, well, replace the default ones if you like so here you are done, um, well open to play around with that if you're a little bit more advanced of course or for example what you say like hey i'd like to check out the demo which is by the way here included so this is the stuff you saw on the rooms and then i just went to this one to room 12 and for example there's uh, one where are you come on a template room which i already 
populated with tons of stuff so i was just uh, playing around with that and for example if you're looking for some stuff you just go ggl parents and then you say hey i'll need a button or a container a label some toggles or whatever and then let's go actually for a button what do we want let's go for a button we just drag and drop in there in the only restriction and this is uh, if you want to use all that stuff you need to have in your room the object ggl controller this is the only thing which you need to have in advance everything else is just drag and drop and boom so we just drag this guy in there and then how you control it you go over variables and boom everything in here has some default values but if you say like no i want to change stuff then well this is where you go so for example you can change uh, the alignment you can change for example what kind of text you're having let's go for banana banana sandwich because this is a button which every game of course has and let's go for shadow color offsets so you can even change the icons the hover over so tons of things you can instantly customize if you like color value one two let's for example change the colors here so let's go for really muddy color so let's go for some, some pink and let's go here for what do we want we want to have some really ugly text and well let's start it and this was our button which one was it this one of course we need to drag it a little bit bigger so it's in the size we want to have and boom did i change the room i did not yeah i didn't okay so <laughs> very very quickly let's go into our template room this one drag it up come on so i can actually check it out and this is pretty much it so here once again very quickly very easy to customize very easy to implement and boom instantly to you so here we go for banana sandwich that was the one which i created i already created another banana sandwich as you can see hover over text is in there so what else do you want this is a pretty sweet deal in this kind of regard and you can even enable debug mode and then you got this rectangle around here hopefully you got uh, curious about this project because i then will definitely use it for my own stuff because hey <laughs> why not then i don't need to define my own menu system because that stuff believe me takes a few days out of your time which is kind of annoying and if you got stuff already built why not use it hey that's never a bad idea already hopefully that was of interest to you guys and yeah check it out if you want to see a pretty decent GY system in place. Have a good one. One up indie.